Old Mobs. Ja, dann schauen wir schnell rein. Samba! Full Wave! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today let's have a look, a very short look at this Celoso. It's a tube amplifier. These microphone input sockets are not original. Old knobs, old switches. <laughs> oh, look, an RCA socket. Chinch. This is the rear side. There's a voltage selector. I don't know exactly the direction where it is pointing to. Many different uh, speaker impedances can be matched up with this terminal here. Made in Italy. 30 watts output power to the speakers. What's underneath here? Ja, dann schauen wir schnell rein. Na, bist du deppert. Nice one. This is a typical Celoso made uh, power transformer. You find these in this design in every Celoso type unit. This, I guess, is the unknown current DC choke. And these are probably input transformers for the microphone inputs. No. There are only two wires. So these are another unknown current chokes. ECC 83, 12AX7, 12AT7 and EL34. Nice. I don't really love the JJ tubes, but they are reasonable. I'm absolutely fine with them. So what's underneath? What's inside this amplifier? Let's have a look. There we go. It's a little bit like a mess, like inside old tube radios. We have a lot of direct wirings. By the way, this will not be a restoration project because this is not my amplifier. I am selling it on commission. Uh, and yeah, I would love to do a service and repair, uh, but I don't have the time, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, that's bad. Someone stuck this resistor directly to an aluminum electrolyte capacitor. And of course, this is bullshit. The uh, capacitor, the capacitor will dry out real quick. This, I guess, is an original cap from the 1960s, 1966. Nice. What? This is without any function. Oh my goodness. Why? Anyways, you can still wire it up as you need it. And actually it is wired for 240 volts, which is correct. Is it still on? No, no. A little full wave rectifier. <laughs> And another one. This one is not original, of course. The AC mains power switch. Yeah, they start to fail after a while and you can clearly see someone already uh, desoldered the wires underneath the power output tubes. Lots and lots of old resistors. Quite nice. Ah, uh, this is a Mika capacitor, I guess. Celoso Milano. Nice. They had their own caps. Great. This socket here. Yeah, that's, that's neat. They get the vibrations out of the tube. A more detailed look at the input socket modifications. That's, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Someone replaced the loading caps. These are not original, of course. Samwa. 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 And Philips caps. Grounding. More original caps made in Italy. Nice. This is the output transformer. Übertrager. Nice resistors, everything fine. Great. Interesting caps. They probably need a replacement. Who knows? So if you have such a unit, what should you do? Uh, this is already still okay. You don't necessarily need the AC mains input selector, the voltage selector. You will wire directly to the transformer with or without this switch. Uh, you would probably replace, uh, you would certainly replace all of these caps. Um, not flying around. This is not how you do it. These are already a replacement. And other than that, yeah, there's not much to do, I guess. Uh, replace the tubes if they are faulty or uh, don't have enough anode current anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope you find this very interesting or kind of interesting. And I would always be very happy about a thumbs up. Great, great thanks to my patrons. And uh, if you want to support me, every support helps, really. So have a nice day. Bye.